Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Um, I want to talk about just briefly because I'm not, this is just a, uh, a sample, a tidbit, a morsel, a crumb off the table because there is no table yet and I don't have any food on it yet. So, actually, I do have food and I have crumbs. I can give you one. There's a crumb. Where's the camera? <laughs> ah. Mazzo. Unlimited bread from... Actually, it's not left over from Passover, although we had the exact same stuff. Picked it up at the store. Dry. Oh my gosh. Very unleavened. <laughs> Alright, so, crumbs off the table. That just happened to be there. So, you can see here it says reticular activating system. Okay. Read up on it. Reticular activating system explained. What do I say? D Y O R. Do your own research. Bring your own. Bring your own research. Okay. Uh, I heard about people that are success oriented. Football players. I remember. I envisioned myself breaking a tackle. Golf players, I envisioned myself making that hit. Um, along with a lot of practice, they don't just imagine it, but that's a big part of what they do when they are successful. Well, this is scientific validation for that and that the human brain can affect reality. So, and there's been experiments where Russians put matter in a vacuum uh, energy, light wave kind of bouncing around and they put in a little bit of human DNA, DNA in there and suddenly the energy got coherent. It got, it formed a uh, wavelength. So just another, you know, minor proof that, uh, or not proof, but, you know, alleged proof, you know, that uh, our, we have the capability to change things. Now, Let's go to uh, the idea of creation. At creation, um, it says God, Genesis says that God created man in his image. Okay? Image. Use your imagination. Okay? Image. I, nation. So... This, you know, give us, give us some thought, because this is, is very powerful, I believe. I, I've known people who, <clears throat> one lady in particular, she was in the National Guard, no, Coast Guard. She was deploying on Coast Guard, and she had, she knew she had forgotten her toothpaste. And she's walking along her, I mean, she's got her back, her bags, she's at the airport, and she just concentrates really hard and thinks, I have to get some toothpaste, I have to have toothpaste. And took about one step and looked down, and there was a brand new sealed tube of toothpaste on the floor in front of her. So, poof. You know, I've had these weird things happen. I can't explain them. You know, I can tell you the stories, and you can believe me or not. But the weekend of my, um, the dream, the vision I had that engendered all this saga, you know, how to get out of Babylon. You know, I take notes and I wrote down, uh, man, someday if we go to horse and buggy type of thing, we're going to need a transportation, family transportation, I wrote Amish buggy. We need public transportation. I wrote stagecoach. We're going to need to haul freight. You know, I wrote teamster wagon. Went outside, opened the barn door, and in order, brand new, untouched, I mean like virtually just absolutely pristine, perfect condition, like they came off a factory floor, an Amish buggy, a stagecoach, and a teamster wagon in the order that I had written them down. You explain it. So, believe it or not, don't really care if you believe it or not, because it happened. <clears throat> so, um, so anyway, that idea and the fact that the word of uh, image means to, in the Hebrew, to do the work of, like go in the office, sit at the desk, and start performing the function of God 
created man in his image. So we're to image him, we're to do what he does. What did he do? He created. So create things. You know, we have that command, you know, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, take dominion, and subdue it. So just uh, some things there so, um, to look into. So that's it. And then uh, I want to combine this with prayer, the watch the video that I posted earlier under David, the Cave of Adullam one, and uh, a way of praying that it says, Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And on at Sabbath, uh, this lady read a passage from a book by Roger Morino, M-O-R-I-N-E-A-U. And it's a Seventh-day book, I think, Seventh-day Adventist book, but uh, about forgiving people, praying that people's sins would be forgiven. Very powerful. I mean, just, just absolutely astounding stories in there, two of them, just, just remarkable. So uh, consider that, look into it, be praying about it, and uh, just start praying for people to... The, number one, if you have something against them, you forgive them. And two, pray that their sins be forgiven, that they're they're freed from their bondage. And and the idea of, you know, envision people being freed. You know, there are people who are, are alcoholics. There are people who have been molested as children. If you know those situations, you know, envision them in, in a the cage and the cage is somehow I don't know, alcohol, and uh, the key is alcohol, the lock is alcohol, whatever, the bars are alcohol, I don't know, beer bottles, I, I'm not, I'm just trying to get across that, you know, somehow envision them being bound, maybe the chains, um, being bound by alcohol and then being freed, the lock being broken, the door being opened, and same thing with someone who was molested as a child, so that's, that's something that is... Uh, uh, again, very powerful, and we need to look at that. So, image your father, image your creator, image your savior, and do the works that we were commanded to do. All right, there you go. It's Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. And I'll do more on this later. I mean, especially on this reticular activation system. Very fascinating. Uh, all right, there you go. Thank you. Bye bye.